Workflow and System Part 4. So now let's make this page Process Boat. Process Vote or PyHPy. Now let's just see if this alert worked. Fucking butter. Hmm. Oh, you know what? That's why. Because we have nothing out there yet. So let's see this now. Okay, cool. <laughs> Put that back there. So now come your process vote. Well, first thing we need to do is connect to our database. So I'm actually going to copy that from our other file. Bam. So this is the page that's receiving this data. All this data right here. So let's set these as variables. Set variables. IP is post IP. ID is post ID. And vote, whether they clicked up or down, will be just that. Vote. So when someone hits, say, vote up, we need to create a record in here. Votes, our votes table. And what's going to be in the tags column? Well, we need a way to store two things in the tags column. This is the tags column. We need to store the ID of the article they voted on. So it's in this case, it's two. Well, in any case, let's say two. And then whether they voted up or down, because we don't know that. So we're going to figure it out like this. Two underscore up. And since this tags column will hold all the data for one IP, we need to separate this from any other vote in the table. So say we have two up, and then on three, they vote three down. And what we're going to do is actually wrap each vote into limiters like that, like commas. So at every time someone hits, say, he votes up on two, that will be inserted into tags. And then if he votes up on three, three up will be inserted, and then one down if he votes down on one, etc. And you'll see why we format like that in a little bit. But that's what we're going to do. So. In this case, the user has clicked a button. Now we need to query, select all from votes, where IP equals IP. And tags like tags up or tags like tags down. Sorry. That's that. Close that. So select all from votes where the IP matches and the tags is like. You should be familiar with like. I hope you are. And we're going to check for up, remember underscore up, and underscore down. So that's why we have to do it like this. That's why our query structure like that. So let's prepare this query. God damn it. Bind value. You need to bind the IP. We need to bind something to this and something to that. So let's one, two. So tags up will be ID and then 
underscore up, followed by a comma. Remember, it's going to be wrapped in a comma, so we need to actually do a leading comma as well. So now that actually looks like, say, that, for example. So, and since we're using a like, we need the wild card. Or that. Pretty simple, yeah? Let's actually copy this and do this right here, because it's the same thing. So down, then down. So now this is going to find in our table if they voted up or down, or if they didn't vote at all. Statement execute. Now, we do need to fetch this data. Fetch. Okay. Okay, so if. Well, we know what we're doing here. outside my front door. I go up by you real quiet. If statement row count. It's great. I didn't see it though. If this user, if more than one row is found, well, more than zero rows is found, if any rows is found, that means user has already voted. Else, wait. All right. Someone's breaking in. Okay. Else, if we could just use else, but let's be sure. Statement. If the rows found is zero, user has not voted. So if the user has not voted, let's start there. Actually, we're going to start there right now. 